USA Radio News with Chris Barnes. Economic news as the nation's economic growth slowed in the year's second quarter, but not by as much as analysts were expecting to see in today's Commerce Department report. The agency says the GDP growth from April through June was 2.1 percent. That was down from 3.1 in the year's first quarter. Consumer spending kept growth from slowing more than it did. A bill extending funding to sickened 9-11 first responders that many believed was going to be signed by President Trump today is now going to be signed by the president on Monday. Immigration officials say a record number of unaccompanied migrant children have crossed into the United States at the southern border since October. They've pegged the number at 61,000. That's 2,000 more than the previous record set during the entire 2016 fiscal year. This is USA Radio News. On the heels of renewed missile testing by North Korea, a U.S. official now reportedly says Iran has test-fired a medium-range ballistic missile that traveled over 600 miles. CNN reporting the unnamed official has confirmed the launch. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo says if it's true, he wouldn't be surprised. They continue to engage in malign activity. They continue to build out their missile program. They continue to work on their nuclear systems. Uh, And yet they want to tell the world that, no, they're just defensive and they're just being a normal nation and we all see differently. He spoke on Hannity on Fox. Republican Senator Mitt Romney against a budget deal that he says will add trillions of dollars to the national debt. He says the deal reached by President Trump and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi perpetuates fiscal recklessness. John Fogarty, the first musician to publicly back out of Woodstock 50 now that the fest is apparently going to be held in Maryland instead of New York. This is USA Radio News. For the first time, there is at least one woman on every S&P 500 company's board of directors. Online auction website Copart, naming Diane Moorfield as one of its directors earlier this week, it was the last of the nation's top 500 companies to have an all-male board. It became the last one when TripAdvisor appointed two women to its board in March. S&P Global Market Intelligence claiming that 56% of the firms on the index have at least three female directors, a 19% increase from three years ago. A University of Mississippi fraternity suspending three of its students who posed with weapons in front of a memorial sign to Emmett Till that had bullet holes in it, the sign marking the spot where Till's body was recovered in 1955. The 14-year-old Chicago boy was visiting family in Mississippi when a gang of white men abducted, tortured, and ultimately murdered him. One of the men in the photo is holding a shotgun, a second holding an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle, and it appears the third is not holding a weapon. And President Trump is blasting Sweden after officers there decided to press assault charges against rapper ASAP Rocky. He's already been held in the Swedish jail for three weeks after being involved in a confrontation in Stockholm. Trump tweeting, the U.S. does so much for Sweden, but it doesn't seem to work the other way around. For USA Radio News, I'm Chris Barnes.